So for months now, we've been reading mentions on the internet of US-funded biolabs in Ukraine, and we have not taken the bait. We did not do a single segment on this. You talked about it last week. So we didn't even really follow up on the story. It seemed way too unlikely. The last thing we want to do is repeat information that's incorrect or traffic in legitimate conspiracy theories. And so that got us asking in public, what? Why is the US government funding some kind of biological research in Ukraine? What is it for? To study diseases. The labs aren't secret. We were immediately shouted down. You can't ask that question, but we can because we're American citizens. It's our money. It's being done in our name. And so we would like to know. The Biden administration, of course, didn't answer. We found out from a separate source the obvious, which is some of these are bioweapons, of course. No, they aren't. Your guest also disagrees with you. Well, first off, I, I want to make clear that um, the Russian government is clearly pushing a, a propaganda line to try and justify their war in Ukraine, right? They're saying that the American government was working on uh, bioweapons in Ukraine. I do not have evidence of that specifically, but I do Over have... Over this weekend, this show obtained a number of documents from a former high-ranking U.S. official that show the U.S. government through the Pentagon did, in fact, fund research into deadly pathogens in Ukraine. The labs aren't secret. We fund them in several countries. So we learned, thanks to reporting from the National Pulse several days ago. A far-right source known for peddling conspiracy theories, according to MediaBiasFactCheck.com. We know that Hunter Biden was uh, helping raise money for funding one of the companies involved in that called Metabiota. Metabioba is a staffing agency that provides personnel for the labs. Most of the company's work is in Africa, not Ukraine. Metabioba was trying to sell an insurance product. Hunter Biden was kicked out of the investment group due to his cocaine use. Please see the following for more information. That is on the Washington Post, the truth about Hunter Biden and the Ukrainian biolabs. I condensed a lot, but I only have about two minutes on Twitter, people.